Navatonian team has been to some great barbecue restaurants in the city and beyond in previous episodes, but we can't fit them all into one show. So here's a recap of some of our all-time favorites. Just beneath the Riverside Drive Viaduct is where we encountered the belly of the barbecue beast. Dinosaur barbecue may have gotten its start as a mobile food unit serving up hungry Harley fans upstate, but it has taken the city's smoke scene by storm. Everything is cooked daily, everything is made from scratch, and if you act real nice, Cooter, the pit master, might show you his smokers. We got some briskets coming out, got some pork butts, pork butts. finishing up. See that? Yeah, See how that gym. just gives like that? Uh huh. That's the magic. Then Cooter plated me up and it was time to get down. Okay, brisket win. Oh, you're going right with the jalapeno. Oh, nice. I play around, Cooter. You All right. know who you are dealing with, <laughs> Pimpo. Wow! I'm so good. Front shoulder pork butt going down the hatch in three, two, one. Porky, but good. Porky yet smoky. It, like, Again. Rub it all over your body. <laughs> Get a shot Re now. It's reawakened. It's like glistening. It's like Christmas all over again. Again, what's nice, pulls off the bone easily, but doesn't fall off the bone. Cooter's mac and cheese. That's insane. And then there's the peanut butter. Peanut butter cup pie. It's a pie that you could actually make love to. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I've been caught before with a piece of peanut butter pie <laughs> in the morning. After <laughs> with some minor. <laughs> when we first visited Mabel's in Williamsburg, it was just a smoky startup. Since then, it has become a must stop for anyone craving Q. Part Memphis, part AC, with a dash of the Lone Star State, pitmaster and owner Jeff Lutonsky grew up in his mother's restaurants and on his father's cattle farm. Always knew he wanted to cook barbecue and good old southern sides. Armed with his grandmother Mabel's recipes, he's been serving up porky goodness ever since. So this is your Texas State Fair concession stand food right here. This is awesome, it's a Frito pie. <laughs> so this is your chili that's on top. This is our homemade chili. And it's Texas style. Texas style, no beans. Man, oh man, Frito pie. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow, that is so good. People, mm -hmm. run, don't walk. <laughs> Get over here, because Jeff is a madman in the kitchen. Oh. And you just gotta wash it down with the bud. Mm. So that's how we you do. You want to, you have to. You have to. <laughs> Part of the rules. Don't break the rules. Don't break the rules. <laughs> Perhaps the perfect day in the Hudson Valley for those who crave serious Q is a trip up the river to Billy Joe's Rib Works. The joint is always buzzing and the view can't be beat. But back in the kitchen you will find Chef Kevin Alston who will blow you away with some of the craziest barbecue we've ever encountered. But I had heard about a particular plate at Rib Works that I just had to get my messy little paws on called the hangover. All of our ribs come wet, which means mopped in barbecue sauce unless otherwise specified. So why is it nice called the hangover plate? Because by the time you're done eating, it feels like you're hungover. So what is the hangover? Well, it's a slab and a half of baby back ribs, pulled pork, plus a whole smoked chicken, smoked sweet Italian sausage, hot Italian sausage, and andouille sausage with your choice of four house-made sides. That is the pulled pork that's been smoking for about 12 to 15 hours. Is this what you call the butt? That's what you call the butt. But the butt isn't the butt. The butt's the shoulder, right? Exactly. All right. See, I know. <laughs> I'm at my first rodeo, Kevin. Pork butt. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What is that? What is that? This right here is our backyard barbecue burger. It just gets crazier every second. But I'm taking a bite of this, and then I'm going in for the burger. What is this? Kevin, what is in this? You have pulled pork. You have your brisket. You have your choice of sweet, hot, or andouille sausage. Uh, we have a seven ounce burger, cheddar cheese. There's freaking cheese, onion rings on here. Fried onions, coleslaw, and barbecue sauce. What? It's a real palate cleanser. Oh my God, this is, <laughs> this is good. Wow. 
Coming up, after all this cue, you will definitely need to lie down where you can catch some Z's in the city.